Okay, so today I want to change tracks from the render graph for the uh, for the time being because what I want to do instead is before I complete or continue with the render graph, I want to improve the ability to test the graphics implementation that I have. Now, of course, I only have the one graphics implementation, which is Vulkan. And when I'm testing it in the CID CD system, I have a little bit of a problem with it. First off, I'm in doing it in a container and I only have, currently I'm using the software rasterizer, which comes with Mesa, the Mesa LLVM pipe implementation, which is CPU based. So it's not very fast and like it, it it's certainly useful to make sure that, you know, things are supposed to work as you would expect, but again, it's only on that particular software implementation. It doesn't really, I'd rather also have the ability to uh, test on like an actual, you know, AMD or NVIDIA GPU or a, even an integrated uh, Intel one. Maybe I can get an ARC card. Hmm, maybe. Regardless, I want to be able to test with actual hardware accelerated implementations of Vulkan, as well as the software one. Um, and right now, I only have the software rasterizer on the Arch containers, which is integrated. If I recall correctly, it's just the Arch, 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 and then Fedora and everyone else doesn't have it. And then down here is what? The analysis, but that's because this is running inside a, an Arch container, so... Yeah, not great. And I want to improve upon that. I really do. Now, this computer I have, the main workstation I have, does have Vulcan Info, does have a, doesn't have enough space for me to actually do that, Vulcan Info less, has, two, has one GPU, uh, which is, the RX 6800, Daffy 21 from AMD. And I have the software implementation. Unfortunately, right now, I'm pretty sure my implementation of when I select the physical device to use is almost exclusive, at least for the tests here. I'm not sure about the bring up application. That may be different. But at least for this, when I create a session, it's a physical device and it's always selecting just the first one, which may change, right? Depending on the system, you know, if, um, and is also, <clears throat> it may be dependent on like how, in which order the graphics implementations were loaded on that particular day. And what I'd really rather be able to do is a select the GPU that I want based on some criteria, whether it's a number ID, or I can say, you know, I want to look specifically for a Dabby 21 or LLVM pipe or ARC, whatever. And be able to, I guess, tell which GPU is actually being used. So, okay, first of all, let me kind of change this up. So what, okay, first of all, at least for this, I want to see, I want to make sure which GPU I'm about to create and run on. So. Uh, VK physical device. Oh, physical device properties. That props. VK get physical device properties. So you get VK physical device. And we got and props. And then I want to standard C out. Props device name, which is that. Do that. I need the IO stream for that. So let's get that going and double check that that's doing whatever I want it to do. Uh, it's pro graphics. Okay, test, test. Oh, CD build. Go into the build directory. Oops. 
Perf test. Okay, so yeah, that's not great, is it? So right now, for each of the tests, it shows a 6800, which is the first physical device. Is that? This is absolutely terrifying. But I may just be due to Mesa's Vulc uh Mesa's uh Ray Vul Rad V Radio and Vulcan implementation. If I choose uh the second device. Okay, so first of all, can I I want to be able to select the device that I want to use here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do standard. Um, okay, so first of all, what I need to do is this equals whatever. PK results equals PK enumerate physical devices on the instance to run. Oh, here we go. Yeah, get this. Uh, it's that. Null pointer that. Get the number of devices, then we want to create a standard new pointer, which is physical device to do. That times however many. And then I want to be, okay, if, let's say, you know, I'm going to select. Okay, physical devices. Good, great, great, great. And then I say, one if i go to the if i go to if i select this one instead kind of shortcut this a little bit chosen equals one you are literally the chosen one put that up here for the moment great let's do that again or um make that big and let's go Okay, and that. Mm hmm. Cannot. Right. Just gonna put that there then. Okay, uh, I still had a whole bunch of leaks. I don't like that. Or hold on. Yeah, no, there were a bunch of leaks. So I got to look at that. A little VM pipe stuff. But I did choose a different GPU. It's not even like anything inside of my code. It's unknown modules which i'm ex i am assuming hoping that's the mesa stuff all right <clears throat> so if i can get the implement if i can get the gpu into like the gpu id that i want into here i can use it so what i need to do then is i need to make a modification i need to be able to pass it in via something now hold on there is there are options that i can use to pass stuff in can i make a modification to that now this is catch this is okay so can i make a custom catch
main cpp include catch the key because if i were okay going way way back see make prepare catch i have this divine and i include that and that automatically has its own thing i can probably overwrite it in the local file so that it takes precedence over the main that's defined in the this uh shared binary shared Ooh. static on windows that may prove difficult maybe we'll see um cat config main let me see if there is a catch to custom and line. Okay. So there does appear to be some. A little bit more. Uh, adding your own command line options. You get int. Okay. Actually, hold on. What branch is this? This is Devel. That's not going to work. V2X version two point. Okay, this is a, uh, it's a little bit different. Okay, let's try this. See what this is doing exactly. Do that. Um, got a custom main, we're gonna do custom main on when running Vulkan runtime tests. Or actually just here. C, C underscore for the Let's do, so we're doing, we're selecting a GPU via ID, you know, zero, one, whatever. Um, I'll just kind of have it a long option. Select GPU to run tests on, we move that stuff over. Uh, this isn't height. Uh, do this. This is going to be. Let's grab that. I need a. Uh, int. Uh, equals starts off at zero. Oh, of course. This is a thing we're putting into that. And um, we have just a function that returns that globally. So we return that. Have a little header that does that. That that's the main key. Okay. Can I is this even gonna build actually? Uh, it takes a yes, it takes a long time to build because it's catch and it's a huge header with a lot of template stuff. But the new GPU is down there at the bottom. So that GPU to run test on. Great. So if I was to do or this include that, and instead of that, I'm just doing. That's the GPU I'm selecting. Dash dash GPU 
zero, I guess. Um, oh, right, it's a local. It's a local file. Not a system one. Or not one that's found in the path. Okay, so that was zero. And then what if I was to select one? Then it's using LLVM. Okay, that allows me to select the GPU. That's great. I like that a lot. Um, okay, let's kind of rip that out. Physical device count, physical devices. Okay. Okay, for the moment, let me just kind of get rid of the address stuff. Come back. I'll circle back to that later once I get whatever this is out of the way first. So I can select it here at least. And I know it's using the device. Now, my device has that. So, rolling back to getting this into a container. So, clear that. Podman run. So right now, what I have, table fetch, okay, let's get the this directory to work there. I'm going to need that, not quite this time, but I will need it soon. Build pro arch. The arch, the arch container, arch Linux container. Run that. Um, so this doesn't have anything. Uh, because I do not have open tools. So there, there's Vulkan Info. There's the one GPU I have, which is the LLVM pipe, the software implementation inside of the container. That is as expected. So, rolling back. What am I here? That. If I was to try Pac-Man-S... Um, Vulcan Radeon, I won't have it available. I should not have it available. If I do have it available, then I'm going to freak out because that doesn't seem right. Okay, perfect. It's not there. So, how, okay. Uh, it, it can't be that simple, could it? Device, uh, device drive, which is the direct rendering interface, I think. If I do this, if I just pass in a device, I have card zero, which makes sense. That's just like cats, whatever this is, card zero. Yeah, it doesn't give me anything. Um, dev drive? Direct rendering interface, okay. Pac-Man dash SY get Vulcan tools, get the Vulcan Radeon in there. What does it look like? What do I have available? Give it to me. Maybe it is actually that simple uh, because inside the container, I already have Rad V Never 21. Okay, does it actually work? New question, does it actually work? So CD worker, I need to make sure build two, two. So this is the one inside of the container. So it's going to be C name. Did I actually, hold on. I just run um, build. Libs, graphics, CK, test, test. Yeah, okay. 
I need to. Wasn't going to be that easy. Excuse me. Go back to that. Run that. GNU. Okay, we're running GNU. Whatever. Release. We're going to run run time tests. We've got tests on and Vulcan run my time tests. So run that, please. We go. Actually, if this is the case, I want to have. Copy that. Move forward again. I want to have this so I can actually see what's going on inside of here. Test. Okay. Let's run as fast as possible. Go, go, go! Which is pretty slow. Hmm. <laughs> Dibs. Oh, graphics. DK. Test. Test. We are running on the nav v21 instead of the container. It was that easy. I just needed to pass in the dev drive. Can I? Okay. New question. Can I pass in the specific car? SY. Um... I have to have everything. Right. Okay. No, it needs it needs a full uh, needs a full dry directory. Did it have? Yeah, I did do rating. Double check. Yeah, they're both there. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So, if I have this stuff, then, okay, let me just kind of put bits and pieces together. Let's get rid of these cache files. Don't want them. I want this custom main. Yes. I want this. I don't want that. I want this. Stage those. Stage this stuff down to about here. Stage those. So let's let this that stuff, which I don't really want. Custom main, you got it. Custom main, you got it. Okay. Update. Critically, and now let's select specific Vulcan. It's not even a GPU, it's the implementation. On the test side. Okay, great. So all that's left now is this stuff, which I don't really need. Uh, 
and it only took 25. Like, I've been thinking about this for months. I didn't realize how easy it actually was going to be. Like, 25 minutes, and you're basically off to the races. Okay, new thing. How? We're not... Okay, so when I go into... Okay. Give me a second. I'll be right back, because I have something to actually use this pretty much right away on. Okay, so here's what I've got. Oh, don't. Do we need this anymore? No. I'll move that off to the side, put that in the corner. I've got a new system, and in this system, I should have. I just spun this up real quick. This is not final, obviously. I don't. Whatever. All right, so that system is spun up now, so let's uh, get this going. So I have another system which I'm going to be using for the GPU. Tests. I should have on this system, oh, this, this is a temporary system, so I just quickly installed Ubuntu 2204 server edition, so there's no graphical GNOME session going on in there, so hopefully I should have exclusive use, or technically nothing should be using the GPUs in this system whatsoever, ever. Um, I believe I have LS PTI. There are two. There is a Navi 23. 6600 XT specifically. And down here is a... It's not a Suzanne, it's a Renoir. So it's like a Vega something or other that's on a 5600G. So I have two graphics devices on here. I don't think I have any like Vulcan info or anything like that on this, no. So what I want to do is I want to get this going inside the container on this system so I can actually select more than just the one GPU and the one software. And then eventually, like once this is all sorted out, I'm going to expand upon it and put it like install it properly and you know just get it just get it going uh, in regular CI CD. So I have a system. I have I'll have this one system. I mean, once I get it with one GPU, I'll probably add another two GPUs. I'll grab like some old I don't know Radeon eight thousands or something like that for like eighty bucks a piece, so I can like test the really old implementations, make sure like you know I'm not entirely off base. And what have you. But to start with, I need to actually make sure it works up that what I have for Podman, Device Dry, and all that works on more than just my system. It needs to work on more than one system. So to begin with, I got Pod, Podman run dash IT. Um, we'll, oh, our, I already have this downloaded. Perfect. So, um, Obviously, that's still only going to have the implementation of LLVM5, so I need to pass in device LS dev dry. So, for, yeah, there's two cards Navi 23 and the Renoir, Cezanne, Cezanne whatever it calls itself. Podman run dash IT dash dash device dev dry. So, if I Pacman dash S open. Tools and Vulcan Radeon. Yeah, give me that stuff. So. Then I run Vulcan info. Let's see. Less. I only have LLVM pipe. Mm -hmm. That's not great. Any ah, here we go. Got some things here. Error cannot open device, permission denied. That's not great. Do I need to have, let's say, uh, add a specific group like the video group? I think. Okay, Pac Man apply, get Vulcan tools and Vulcan Radeon. Vulcan info. No. Uh, where is that? Give me Chromium. What group to access? Uh, dev. Guy. Okay. 
Dev dry render owned by Render Group on some hosts. Oh, is it Render? Is it Render? Hello. Um, render. No. Hmm. Who owns it on my local system? Dev Dry. Give me full information. Render. Okay. What if I add both? Add video. I want both. Oh, I added the render group, didn't I? <laughs> no. Okay. Um... If I am the super user, and I have the device, sorry, not Vulcan Info, Tools and Vulcan Radeon. Then I have all three. So there's the Navi 23, there's the integrated GPU, and then there's the software software renderer. Okay. Okay, so that's not, I mean, that could just be like, because there's some security. At, actually, I wonder, hold on. I bring back that. Who owns it on my... Uh, Host system here. When I, I'm myself, I'm not doing. I'm not doing sudo. Right. Vulcan tools and Vulcan Radeon, right? I'm not. It's there. Okay, I'm going to assume that some there's some sort of security apparatus on Ubuntu that's uh, just not liking me passing the graph the driver through without some without being root basically which to my mind makes it kind of worse is it better or worse a little bit of both hmm right whatever i'll deal with it i'll re i'll reinstall this system with uh i guess arch later or something or because i'd rather just be as a user and pass it through rather than pass it through as root it makes it kind of worse wait 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 um privileged privileged you have to be right i did this as user yeah radio No. Uh, I just got something else in completely instead. I mean, it wasn't the error I had before, but now it's the error is that it was successful. Fantastic. Ah, uh, just perfection. 
Okay. I have to be root on Ubuntu to be able to access my own card. Graphics drive. Uh, graphics device. Great. Thanks, guy. Thanks, Canonical. Making me really endearing me to this this distribution of yours. Okay. I'm here. I can do sudo run that. Let's get okay, first of all. Is this main? Oh, I did I already touched this, did I? Whatever. Check out whatever what did I call it? Uh Vulcan or Vulcan radar blah 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 blah. I don't got it. Vulcan hardware. Oh, I didn't even push it up. Hold on a second. Let's do that. Push that up. Push it up. Okay. Actually. Does this have this doesn't have this? Let's add that as well. Just for the moment. I can drop this commit later. Astro device. Put that up. Okay. Really, tab doesn't work on on, on Ubuntu, right? Ah. Okay, let me do it the old-fashioned way, like a Windows user. Type the whole thing out. Origin. Okay, I'm here. I got both, right? I got. Yeah, test show. Okay. So. Do that. Already made sure it built. Okay, but I want to do it inside the container now. Okay, uh, sudo. Sudo that. No, I need to actually pass the directory in. Dash B. PWD. And then. Worker. PD worker. Go here. Worker build. PD build. And I'm as super root, aren't I, as well? Because it's pseudo podman, so it's root on the root. Oh, not ideal. So let's get all this stuff. I want to build tests. I want to build Vulcan runtime tests. Let's go. G make dash K test. Oh, DK test. Go go. Oh, graphics VK. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Let's get that going. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I need to also, yeah, Pac-Man. SY, Vulcan Fields, and Vulcan Radeon. Hopefully that's going to... Stick with me after. Yep. We get those guys in. So we got. Oh, I saw something up there. That's not. I don't care about that. Zero, one, two. Great, 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 great. Okay. Libs. Flow. Graphics. DK. Test. Test. DP. Zero. You're running on that. You are now running on Renoir. Oh, and then now you're... Actually, that's not even going to work. But that one will. Perfect. I like this. Okay. So now, what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to... When I run the test, like when I run... 
the test, right now I have like what? That. I'm running it like I'm running like make test. Like make test. And that's and that's being done as part of it. That is not really with this command. I'd have to like r keep rerunning it, right? As Okay, hold on. If I do this, okay, if I actually run make test right now, make test, great, 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 and I'm not getting anything back out of it, so I need to like run export. The thing that gives me uh, the output. I'll put on failure. Is that it? Is that one? Is that going to give me? That's not giving me the stuff. Yeah, it's not helpful. Well, maybe that is C make C test underscore something, and I just get rid of the build directory. No. Okay. New thing. On this, I exit one. Okay. That ran on that. Perfect. Can I change it? So I say like dash dash GPU is, you know, something like blah, 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 blah. So I just say test GPU. The export test GPU equals one. Can I do this? Mm-hmm. I don't actually know how I'm gonna pass this information in. Like how do I select which G can I maybe I already test this. Can I actually test run if I test pass in like a specific render? Can I do that? Hold on. Render 128. Can I pass a specific rendering device in and use that so that I don't even have to select? Maybe, maybe. That's a bit distracting, isn't it? Get out of here. Yes, I can. Seemingly. Okay, that actually may simplify this quite a lot. Because what I can probably do is when I'm... Okay, obviously as part of the setup when I'm starting up Podman for each container, I can modify that to isolate the specific GPU I want. So each container only sees the one GPU. Okay, I have, okay, no, I need two containers. I need a, I need a container or multiple containers. A container for the software rasterizer with Arch and the container with Radeon, the container with the Intel drivers, the container with the NVIDIA GPU, uh, drivers. And then I can just pass in the specific GPU to each of those or none if it's, uh, if it's, if it's software. I think would that work? That probably would work. 
Okay, so that was... Let's just do another test. Got that, and I want to do 129, I think it was. Which will be the... Radeon. First of all, let's just check if that's going to even work. Do, 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 do. We have Renoir. Okay. So then it becomes a question of CD worker build. And I want to run libs. Test. Uh, oh. UK. Test. Test. Okay. And it, it's got everything it needs to actually run it. So that actually simplifies things a lot. I don't actually have to mess around with however C test is running. I just need to pass the isolated GPU specifically to each container runtime. So I don't even have to like I don't even have to like run Vulkan info and then select figure out the specific device and then pass in that you know GPU ID zero one whatever. So that that work I did a bit earlier is kind of not as useful. Still useful for manual testing, but automatic testing, that's not quite there. Okay. 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 I wonder. First of all, is okay. Back to Ubuntu twenty two. I want to see is there even a software rast rasterizer available on it, or do I want to move it separately? Maybe, uh, no, sorry, no, maybe not. Search Vulcan. Uh, all right. Mama Mesa, where are you? You're not even here. Vulcan. That's a loader. That's not very useful. And it's an old one too, 204. Tisk tisk. Yeah, it's in behind. Okay, uh, is it like under Mesa? Mesa Vulcan drivers. Does that include the does it include the, the software one? That's what I want to know. Okay. Um okay, well I'm I'm just starting I'm reinstalling system anyway, so Mesa Vulcan drivers and Vulcan tools. Yes, yes, it does. Okay. Hilariously enough, it doesn't actually see my actual physical GPUs. Because a user can't see anything. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. So. There are a couple of little things I can do. First of all, first off, I can do a Vulcan. I need, okay, yeah. I think I need to rework how I'm doing Vulcan graphics testing on part of the CI CD pipeline. Actually, that brings up a question. What about. Fedora. Does it have whatever I need? Hold on. Let me wait for this. Okay. While it's going on, what I want to see is can I at least on all of the containers 
turn on the software rand rasterizer to make sure at least that like the implementation on the software rasterizer in all the containers like in Fedora, Ubuntu and Arch work. And then I'll have a separate stage that does like hardware accelerated stuff. So I want to make sure like the implementation is okay here. And then I'll have a set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is the platform stage, right? The Linux build platform. I want to make sure those work. Then I'll have Windows, Mac OS. I'll have, I'll have analysis. And then I'll have another one, which is like, you know, GPU or um, graphics hardware accelerated testing or something like that. And that's where I'll kind of go through in a separate in a separate way somehow I'll go through GPU specific things because that's going to be a lot slower um yeah 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 something it'll be a separate stage that's the point let's figure that out after that's uh, get out nope get out of here okay I'm here uh, what am I? Pseudo DNS updates. Oh, right. Fedora takes forever. Hold on. Okay. I don't actually want that. Search. Uh, Vulcan. Let's see if we can do anything about this side. Vulcan tools. Thank you. Give me a bat at least. It'll, it's probably under here. So, okay. First of all, got that here. There's nothing, right? There's a little VM pipe is in there. Ooh, okay. Uh, is like the Mesa Vulcan drop is already installed, even though I don't recall doing so, but. Or did I do that as part of do that again? Is that like part of the Vulcan tools? It's just part of it's just already part of this? Hold on. What? Uh, where is I want to have a look at the build images for this, please. Where is Git? That build images. Go, go. Okay. I don't see it. Unless Vulcan Devel. Is it? Wait a second. Oh, I gotta wait for this to happen again. Ah, oh, it's like 30 seconds of my life gone again. Uh, okay. 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 Let's try. If I just do this, then I can figure out who's pulling it in. Okay, there's that. Okay, sudo df install bulk devil. I'm thinking that this guy is bringing in Vulcan drivers for some reason. Great segmentation, guys. Great. Okay, so everyone... Okay, that's one thing I am going to just roll with then. Every, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Fedora has it. Arch has it, the, 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 the software renderer. So let's just uh, do like. Double check that. Okay, sudo. No, I'm already at this. Installed. Grab. Vulcan. Everyone's installing it anyways. Only Arch doesn't do it by default. Okay. So I'm just aw oh, completely. So 
So I, I could have already had software on across everything already. So <sighs> great job. Okay, first of all, let's grab let's trash that. I'll keep that for the moment. What I want to do is enable Vulcan software. All of these Linux builds, so yeah, all of them, they all have it. I don't need to do this anymore. It's just on all of them. To make build type, build extra. So it's part of the tests. Build Vulcan runtime tests. That's great. That's just by default. Take that off. Runtime tests on. Take that off. Okay, let's see what else we, we got them down here. So we have that on there. We have it on here. We have it on this. We don't have it. Okay, I'll just turn it off of all these for the moment. It's on for that. It's on for that. Okay, so I, I gotta come back to the sanitizers. So, we'll do that. Where? Software Vulcan. All the Linux containers. No, no. To verify the To, um, sanitizer package. Ah, actually, by default, it's off. So I don't, I don't even need this here. Or here. Or here. Or here, I'm pretty sure. That's why it's there. And it has to be explicitly on here and here. Right. And I'll figure out a way to round it in the future. What about, okay, the Windows? No, Mac? No. Yeah, because it's off by default. Okay. So do that. So enable due to sanitizer. Yeah. Whatever, let's do that. Push that up and let's see how that goes. So yeah. B R B after that fire saw. And in the meantime I'll start work on reinstalling that system with uh, a real OS that's not Ubuntu. Okay. Uh so that definitely did not work because only the uh, seemingly the only the AMD sixty four implementations of LLVM pipe work. When I try to run if, uh, and I went into the containers, if I try to run like on the ARM PowerPC or RISC five, if I try to run Vulcan Info, it 
just cannot it like it quickly lists uh it lists llvm pipe but then like there's an error because it can't enumerate or can't connect to something like something's we weird or wonky in the loaders and whatever it just doesn't work as nicely so i need time for a different approach so what about uh, i need something along the line I, okay what if mm -mm, what if i was to do this oh yeah yeah, yeah. if uh, uh can i state the arch architecture yes i can if arch Sorry. Where am I? Is AMD 64. Then uh, echo this into this larger line. If I close that up. Okay. What about this? Let's see if that works. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait, no. Yeah, that's that'll work across all of them. Yes. If arch equals that, then echo semicolon, semicolon there, space, space, semicolon fi. Okay, let's let's give this one a go. Push that up. And see how that works. Like if I bring up the arm. Fedora Clang arm. I can see like uh, on the runtime 43. So runtime 43. Right here. It just couldn't create runtime. It'd be, it would have been minus six. Which would have been probably a Vulcan error since that's the only one that really comes out of here, right? Something like that. Yeah. So it would have been a Vulcan error, which would have been VK. Come on, that. You're going to give me that. You're going to give me that. I'm going to go down all the way to the results. Result codes. Minus six, which is layer not present. Wait, it was layer that's not present? Minus six, minus six. Uh-oh. Did I just screw this up? Maybe. Maybe. Whatever, a layer's not present. I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to do something else later. Um, I do know when I did run it, it didn't... Uh, it, it, it just crapped out terribly. So let's just keep it that way. For now. Let's see if I can just limit it just to run the runtime tests on AMD64 and be happy with that. Okay, so here we go. We got a running uh, ARM64 release build. That's running on the uh, side of here. And we have the runtime tester on. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Why would that be on? What about PowerPC? Is it on that one? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's not great. Maybe I can move it elsewhere. Can I move this down back down to like the CMake options down here instead? This is getting worse all the time. Where's the X64? 
It's not off on Ubuntu. Unless that's a holdover from 20, Ubuntu 20. Hmm. Maybe. Arch equals 2064. Okay, we do that. We get rid of it from up here. Let's give this one a go. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, let's have a look. It is no because it fi it's reading this as a separate command to this oh come on all right like that goes to that that is not helping Okay, Paul, okay, rolling back to the last commit before this one, this was the failure I got on ARM64 at least, which was a case of, I mean, this failed horribly when running Vulkan Info, but maybe there's, a, there's something wrong with Vulkan Info itself and not with LLVM Pipe, because this was a non-existing layer or, or failed to... Was it again? Exactly. What was it exactly? Failed to load layer, something like that. Is it possible? Layer not present. What is the layer I'm trying to pull in for runtime? I'm trying to pull in Kronos validation. Do I have that in the containers by default? Like, even on the AMD ones. I have it on Arch. But that's, that's, that's fine. Um, so, uh, not Fedora. Ubuntu is faster. This one. Uh, right. Is this... This is PowerPC. I don't... It'll be the same whether it's PowerPC or not. I need... AMD64, give it to me. Oh! Okay. Uh, app search. Vulcan. <sighs> the Vulcan validation layers, right? That's the thing I'm trying to pull in. I don't have that here. I don't have that either. So, if I was to do something like this, let's just, uh, just for a test, run it on, I need to figure out whatever it is. While that's running. Fedora, Ubuntu, okay, we got that. Container tag, ooh, I need to install it from here. Hmm. It's just kind of at the moment that okay. we don't need that. What we need is third Vulcan. We need the validation layers. Where are they? Where are they? Here. Do I need to develop? I just need no. I don't need to develop these. I just need this Vulcan validation layers. We'll kind of put that up there. And then I just want to see if, at least on Risk Five, this is going to be a bit longer of a thing. If Risk Five and PowerPC have the same thing, where it just says validation or uh, layers not present, then I might still actually be able to get a, get away with the software renderer. I might be able to. Might be able to. Okay. Well, regardless, I need to I need to pull in uh, those. That for at least the AMD 64 ones, I'm pretty sure. So I may as well just do it now. So, uh, build image Fedora is bringing in what? Some Vulcan Devel with, uh, let's say, the.
that and Ubuntu is bringing in what kind of weird naming scheme is that okay I'll get those sorted those little uh, get that um I'm really hoping all the architectures has it, but I'll just be sure I'll do this. In order to better test validation. Validation. Is a big help. Side. Put that up. Okay. That's uh, back to this kind of white piece. There's this is that, yeah, we'll kind of keep that. Let's see how that, how that goes when it recomp. Okay, hold on. Um, is Ubuntu done? Minus nine and minus six. Okay, what's minus nine? Uh, incompatible driver. Okay. So that's not going to work at all. Dang it. Okay, so new plan. Uh, just don't do runtime tests at all at this point, at this stage. At all. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to so this will just be software only, none, no, no graphic stuff, and I'm going to just put it all, slap it all into uh, this the graphics, uh, like the graphics testing stage instead, which is after analysis. So go all the way down here. And this is going to be where I'm going to be doing these things. Uh, so I won't be doing build types. And I won't be doing static shared change things. I'm just going to have like the one, which is going to be like the clang static. Clang, clang shared. Clang shared. Yeah, shared. Clang shared on different platforms. And that's kind of it. Okay. So, slip this to the right. So, grab some stuff. Linux template. Graphics testing. We have build tests. We have that. We, yeah, 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 that stuff. That's nothing to do with us whatsoever. I just, I'm only testing test for graphics. Okay. And then from here, I'm doing like build lib libs. Okay. Test. make it somewhat faster only build what i need and only run what i need and then that's it and then we go ahead and we just kind of go like arch
this is going to be parallel. We've got a matrix of the architectures. So I think we can do, we, we're doing arch, uh, architecture, AMD 64. And then I'll have another one here, which is going to be like uh, implementation or hardware or, uh, okay, because I'm going to have what? I'm going to have Rad V, or, uh, even for AMD, I have Rad V and I have AMD VLK. And maybe for some OSs, they're propri proprietary one. Pro, Vulcan Pro, no, no one's going to use that, non-reality. Non VLK, hmm, okay, for the moment, just this. Container, that. We'll just get the software out of the way. Variables, clang, clang, plus, plus. Got that. Can I do container? No, because the other. Fedora graphics testing. So it's that. Four. Got that, that. And Ubuntu. We're doing CMake options. I need that. Now that has to be added to all of them, doesn't it? Oh, no, or not. No, hold on. Yeah, that adds it to all of them. No Vulcan there. Nope. We'll kind of also Vulcan. I know what it I know it's what it's testing when I just say Vulcan. AMD arm, AMD arm. Okay, let's give that one a go. Let's Okay, let's push that. Override my other trash. And here we go. Okay, so at this point, what I do have is I have the software rasterizer, and I did fix uh, the Vulkan runtime on the Vul graphics tests to actually work. So what I'm going to be... So I have these two. I'm going to leave it there this time. So software raster render testing is back up, even if located in a different location. Next time uh, I come back, we'll be getting the CICD to do to actually run on the hardware that I have. You know, the, the 6600 and the Renoir. So until next time, cheers.